What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beauty and the Beast. I know it's been a long time since I've done this and it's been a very long time since my wife has done this, but uh, we got some pretty good news today. So welcome to Beauty and the Beast. I am the Beast. And this is Beauty. And uh, today we're going to just do a little bit of talk and do a little bit of catching up. Uh, I personally, guys, have had a really, really rough and tumultuous week. I know that you guys may have noticed that this week, the Beastly Gamer has not been uploading uh, on my regular intervals. Normally, I like to at least get a video out a day, every other day. Uh, but as you guys can see, it's been a few days since I uploaded. And I wanted to uh, touch bases with you guys, let you guys know what's going on with me, what's going on with my life, and uh, what's going on with the channel. So, this week, I put in probably, what would you say, 55 hours this week? So far? I probably put close to 55 hours in, and today is Thursday, so I still got a, a full day tomorrow to work. I've had a very, very long week. Uh, I've had situations going on with my car that I had to take get taken care of. I had situations going on at work. I had early morning meetings uh, at work. I get off at midnight, sometimes 1 a.m., and then have to be right back at 8 in the morning for meetings, and then I'm up the entire day working, and all. it's just been really, really rough. And I wanted to uh, apologize to you guys first of all because I know that a lot of you guys depend on me for gaming news, depend on me for you know my personality, for my videos, and it really means a lot to me. I want to take a minute to thank all my new subscribers. I see you guys every day uh, hitting that subscribe button, and it means a lot to me. So I want to let you guys know I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you all so much for watching my videos, for clicking that subscribe button, for liking these videos. It means a lot. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to tell you guys what Beauty and the Beast is about. Beauty and the Beast is a segment that I do with my wife here, my wife Kate. And uh, we talk about the games that we're playing. We talk about uh, what's coming up with us in the future. We talk about usually a movie or two, right? Or a life. Life in general. Life has been, it's been, like I said, a rough The week has been just insane. My daughter's birthday was yesterday, Nina. She turned two. So on top of me working all day and getting my car taken care of, I, I got to swing back home and open up birthday gifts. And it's just been one of those weeks. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had weeks like this. But I wanted to take a little time to uh, talk to you guys and get my wife out here because I know a lot of you guys haven't seen her probably for, what, two or three months? Oh, I don't even remember. A very long time. It's been, it's been a minute since uh, Kate's been on my channel. And uh, we wanted to talk about what we've been doing, what games we've been playing, and uh, give you guys our impressions on it. So me personally, I've been playing not a lot this week. I think the last game I played was The Last of Us. I'm actually playing a game right now called Tennis in Your Face on PS4. And it's created by, uh, I can't remember the name of the studio, but the same studio that made uh, King, King, Oddball. King Oddball, a game that I'm actually <laughs> infatuated with. Um, and so it's a game where you, you take a tennis racket and a ball and you hit it at obstacles and enemies around the screen and try to take them out. It's pretty fun. It's, it's, it's kind of similar to King Oddball. You can tell it's made by the same company. Of course I'm playing The Last of Us, uh, but probably not as much this week. And this week I'm going to be playing Bayonetta 2 uh, for the, the Nintendo Wii U. Game of the Year contender for sure. So I want to get that finished up this week. And uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? Okay, look, guys. I know that there's sometimes some instances in life where you uh, you see a game that came out maybe a long time ago and you just never, ever played it. And uh, Plants vs. Zombies, the original game, is something that I never played before until recently. And uh, when I started playing it, I love uh, real-time strategy games. I love games like... Uh, Pixel Junk Monsters. That's like the first one I ever played. I played the, the old Advanced War. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's like Advanced something on the Game Boy Advance. And it's an RTS, but I never got into it. Plants vs. Zombies is by far, to me, the best RTS ever made. And if you guys have ever played that game, give me a thumbs up because you know what I'm talking about. It's so It's super addictive. It's so stupid, too. It's a very fun game. And and on the uh, we were playing on PS3, right? Yeah, on the PS yeah, PS3, you can play co-op mode with, uh, you know, couch co-op. And I don't know if you can do it uh, online, but we could play with each other or against each other. That game is super fun. And uh, I recommend it to anybody like me who hasn't played the game in all these years. It's definitely worth traveling back in time and, and giving, giving a go. I also have plans for Zombies Garden Warfare, and I did play that online. I don't know if 
what kind of uh, rating I could give that yet. As of right now, it's a pretty decent game. It does have some of the elements of the uh, original, where you can plant things inside pots, and they come up and they help defend your area. So that's actually pretty cool. So I've only played that once. So that's me being honest. I've only played that game once, and when I did play it, I didn't like what I played. Uh, is, is, did I like it as much as the original game? No, but like I said, I did play it once. Now, uh, moving over to you. What have you been playing? What's the last thing you played? Um, well, the very last thing was Plants vs. Zombies, but the main game I'm playing is I'm still on um, Zelda on the Wii U. Well, the Wind Waker HD remake? Yeah. Okay, so you never played that game before. and uh, no, I've I'm... never played any Zelda game except the one on the 3DS uh, a couple months ago, but like when I was younger, I watched people play Zelda, and I was like, oh, this is lame. This is all the, the old Zeldas and stuff, and I never got into it, but now I'm just seeing how awesome Zelda really is. Ah, she had a, an epiphany in life. Yeah, Zelda is an awesome game. I beat The Wind Waker years and years ago. It still has one of my favorite soundtracks, too. Um, it's really fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, so you would definitely, uh, for people who haven't played it, recommend it? Oh, yeah, it? definitely. For Yeah, because the Wii U doesn't have too many it has like three good, good games. games. Four. Uh, that's definitely one of them. Unfortunately, but it's really long, so it'll take your time up. That's what she said. Um, yeah, I unfortunately I haven't been playing the Wii U, uh, and this is my week to get back into it. It's going to be Bayonetta 2, though. And I feel really sad that I haven't been able to play my uh, my Smash Brothers. I haven't played that in what almost two weeks. Yeah, I've been super super duper busy. So um, yeah, so that's what we've been playing, and. Uh, what, what have we been watching? Have you been watching any TV? Anything on Netflix or anything that you like to recommend to anybody? I forget what that movie was that you put on before you went to work. Yeah, that's all I was doing this week is going to work. I know what she's talking about. Maybe I'll link it in the description if I can remember the name. I, yeah, I can't remember. It's a true story, but it was about two sisters, and um, they ended up coming up with a plan to... Let me let me check my Netflix right now as you, as you try to explain what this was. Well, I don't want to, like, give it away, but they... No, I'm, you, don't have to, you don't have to give it away. Um... I don't know how else to explain it besides giving it away. But it's a true story, and it's... It's a drama, but it's really, really good. Well, it's it's the perfect sisters or something like that. Or? Something like that. I'm sure I'm, I'm on my PS4. But they they cr they uh, commit a crime. I don't want to give the crime away, but they end up getting caught and they did get sent away to jail for ten years. And they weren't allowed to see each other for those ten years, even though. Um, okay, well now you're giving it away. All right, so let me see. Well, that's at the end. Like it's the credits they tell you this real story okay um another uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going just continue i'm trying to see if i can see it, it should be in here yeah it, it's um i think it's called yeah the perfect sisters or something like that yeah. but it's on netflix oh yeah, yeah it is perfect sisters. perfect see? sisters i'm yeah. a bad boy all right so it got a 4.4 4 out of 5 on netflix and it has the girl from signs the little girl who drank the nasty water and yeah I, her water was dusty. She's grown now and trying to make it in Hollywood. So, bravo to her. Um, and if you guys have, or if you guys are on Netflix, which a majority of you guys are, check out Peaky Blinders by BBC. Oh yeah. It is one of the best shows I've seen in many, 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 many years. Um, it's hardcore. It is a very good show set in what the 1920s, I would say. I think so. And it's based on uh, it's based on real events. Uh, and it's so damn good. It stars Tom Hardy, who played uh, Bane, and um, I'm trying to remember his name, the, the main character from 28 Days Later. He was in the new Batman movies. He was uh, Scarecrow. You the guys guy from Red Eye. From Red Eye, which is awesome. Yeah, but it's a super good show, and I think all oh, you guys should definitely check that out. Now I've been working a lot this week. I've said that 72 times. Uh, and counting. And uh, what I've been doing this week. I normally get into podcasts. I, I check out podcasts, and um, one of the podcasts I always listen to is called The First Run, uh, and it's a movie podcast by my good friend Brian Rabbit, and uh, you guys should definitely check that out if you're on podcast players around the world. It's a really good podcast, very well done, very professional, uh, but this week I've been on something totally different. I wanted something that would kind of uh, engulf my mind as I do my work. And I found uh, another old thing that's, what, five years old 
that I had no idea existed because I'm relatively new to podcasting or listening to podcasts. And it's called We're Alive, a zombie podcast. Now, don't let the title fool you into thinking this isn't something that's extremely well done. Uh, We're Alive is, imagine The Walking Dead in your ears. Uh, it, that's the, the best way to describe it. It's it, The voice actors are top-notch. The talent is amazing. The sound design, the way the writing is phenomenal. It literally is one of the best experiences I've had at work <laughs> in my life. Because uh, when you put the headphones in or whatever, wherever you get an opportunity to listen, luckily for me, I can listen to headphones all day at work. But uh, listening to headphones and going through this story, it's uh, 47 or 48 chapters, and each chapter lasts for about an hour. So it's a lot of time. I'm up to chapter 14. So you guys know this week I've been really busting my ass trying to listen to my podcast. But if you guys like podcasts and if you're like me and you're, you spend a lot of time at work and you like to hear something a little bit different than uh, the typical stuff, you know, uh, IGN, Podcast Beyond type stuff, and you like zombies, which is my favorite genre, definitely check out We're Alive. Uh, it's one of the highest rated um, audio dramas out there. It's really, really good. Uh, and it's kind of like The Walking Dead. It, they they kind of came out around the same period of time. And uh, the, the writer of this, sh- this sh- radio show actually doesn't listen to or watch The Walking Dead or read the comics because they don't want to draw any inspiration from one another, which is really awesome. But definitely, um, you guys check that out if you get an opportunity. We've been real busy. Kate's actually been busy this week. And uh, she has a new announcement for you guys. And uh, I think it's a beautiful thing. I think it's a great thing. I'm super excited and proud of her. Why don't you tell everybody what's going on with you? You might be more excited than I am. Uh, I, might, I might be. <laughs> um, I actually started my own YouTube channel. Um, it's not a full-on gaming channel like this one. But it, there will be some gaming stuff on it. Um, but it's, it's called Miss Everything Random. And right now I only have one video. It's my introduction video. Hopefully this weekend I'll have two more to put on there. Um, but I just do, I'm just going to do random stuff, like everything random, like tutorials or how to's. I might do some uh, vlog or like little skits. I might have Nova on there. Quite don't, a bit. don't give away all your secrets. Don't, you gotta lure her, man. Don't, she ain't doing nothing. <laughs> no. I'm just sitting and staring at the screen. She wants, Come watch. Like, she wants to look at you guys. Yeah, but um, I know I got a lot of friends out there in, in the land of YouTube. A lot of you guys listen to me, listen to my videos, watch my videos, and comment. If you guys would be so gracious to check out my wife's channel, there will be a link in the description. Uh, it, like I said, like she said, it's an introductory video, kind of explaining what the channel is going to be about. And uh, she didn't use our good camera. She used my old camera. Uh, but it's still a great video. I helped her, you know, cut it and use Sony Vegas and stuff. And I'm really proud of you, honey. Uh, and so definitely, guys, if you guys like random shit, if you want to just see somebody do something random, you know, pick up a, a frying pan and hit themselves in the head with it and then run down the hallway, check out my wife's channel. Miss everything random. I'm super proud of you. And, uh... I think I'm going to avoid the frying pan, though. Okay, you can use a boiler. Okay. Use a boiler. Well, look, guys... We wanted to just make this video. We haven't done a Beauty and the Beast in a while. I've been extremely bu- busy this week. And like I said before, I apologize to you guys because I haven't been here like I'm supposed to be. Once again, if you guys like podcasts, check out the first run. It has Briar Rabbit on every episode, and it's one of the best podcasts out there. Also, check out We're Alive, a zombie podcast, and definitely, last but definitely not least, check out my wife's YouTube channel. Hello. <laughs> miss everything random i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay thank you so much for checking out beauty and the beast once again i am the beast and i'm the beauty and we'll see you guys next time see ya